Hi friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. It's Luce Kelo Munene and this is my young sister, Tukia. For the newcomers, welcome. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I hope you enjoy this video. So today we're gonna be talking about five natural hair tips. Last week, I did a video on washing your hair because guys, that's like the most important thing. When you're starting your natural hair journey, you need to love washing your hair because you need to do it frequently. If you are washing your hair like once a month, you need to start washing your hair like twice a month. So, um, let's get to it, shall we? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> so, tip number one is moisture, guys moisturize your hair now the important thing about moisturizing is that it prevents your hair from breakage most people when we're not on a journey or we just don't know how to take care of our hair we don't know the significance of moisturizing your hair let me I give an example of when I had permed hair it was the reason permed hair when you get to a certain stage I don't know if you guys have noticed this but when you get to a certain stage it stops growing why because it starts breaking yeah and, and it thins like it becomes very exactly and that's what happens when you don't moisturize your hair because you're basically just drying out your hair and thinning it and so when you're not moisturizing your hair is not gonna grow guys like moisture leads to retention of hair and so when I did my last video for those of you that got to watch it and if you didn't please check it out after I washed my hair what did I do I moisturized it and I showed you the products that I used to moisturize it what happened is as I moisturized that hair it was still damp even the following day and guys even more importantly, if you want to keep your hair damp and moisturized, no, not necessarily damp, but moisturized, wear your bonnet, guys. Hey guys, so I got a new satin bonnet from a young lady, Lise Kelo, who's selling these at 45 Kwacha. And I absolutely love this satin bonnet. It's very comfortable doesn't give you any migraines, it's not loose, I really really like it. So for those that don't know, um, sleeping with a satin bonnet is very beneficial to your hair growth. Um, being a natural, natural hair girl, um, I've taken up all the tips that I can get to avoid breakage and damage of my hair. So for those that do not know the benefits of having a satin bonnet is when you sleep on cotton or wear cotton um, head fears, they usually leave your hair with a lot of, there's a lot of friction on the pillow with your hair and your hair shaft gets damaged. So you end up having a lot of breakage and which ends up resulting to split ends. Split ends can damage your hair from your root. So you want to avoid having that. So this is essential, ladies. So please do support her. Wear your bonnets. Eh? Tell True. them. To wear your bonnets because if you do not wear your bonnet, your pillowcase is cotton. And the cotton <laughs> is going to suck the moisture out of your hair and your hair is going to be dry. It's going to be crying like me, I'm dry. It doesn't need to be dry. <laughs> also, one thing on moisture in your hair. When they say moisturize, don't take advantage of it. That since they say they moisturize, they've been scooping your hand, they've been doing like this, and let me moisturize. You're putting a whole palm of oil in your hair. Your hair is going, your hair is going to suffocate. Your hair is going to suffocate. You're going to be crying at no me. It's too much. <laughs> <laughs> so moisture with the right amount, but it's still moisturize. Yes, guys. Don't you know? Don't put the whole jar. I mean, your moisturizing <laughs> product, guys. The products are expensive <laughs> and. You, like if you're like me and you want to get the most affordable products like value for your money but still affordable you don't want to be scooping half the jar and putting in your hair just get a little bit you know just a little bit of TLC and your hair is gonna be good point number two stay away from heat hmm my sisters I know how much you want your hair to look long 
and how you want to blow it all the time it's not good for your hair it's not no, at all. you're drying your hair remember how moisture is important you want to stay away from keeping your hair dry as much as possible true which is why we don't bleach our hair like i had a bad bleaching experience guys. <laughs> first of all <laughs> i bleached my hair burgundy and uh it was so red in the process and then after like i washed it and everything it was still looking black <laughs> it showed up like three months later that's when i started seeing the color and i could only see it in the sun but worst of all guys is that it started drying out like when i started my hair was so nice and moisturized <laughs> and then it just got like really really dry and so i had to start taking care of it a whole lot more guys and you don't want to find yourself in that situation so just keep that hair moisturized stay away from heat not that you shouldn't blow your hair at all no that's not what i'm saying sometimes yeah you i mean you're having an event you're going to a wedding you want your hair to look nice and on point so you can blow it but don't blow it too frequently if you want to blow it you can do it like um once, once in a while yeah once in a while maybe once in two months you know or once in three months if you can stay away from heat as much as possible if you want that volume you know that nice afro that fussy hair that hair needs to be moisturized number three essential oils so um we talked about how moisture is good for retaining your hair but now what essential oils do and i know a lot of people don't know this is that they stimulate your hair growth so for those of you who have receding hair i know a lot of people have that problem we're going to talk about that in point number five but yeah for most of you who have that problem just um use your essential oils now essential oils are those hundred percent organic oils so if you're using like coconut oil or you're using <laughs> shea butter or um what are the essentials grapeseed oil um almond olive oil, oil almond oil um tea tree oil what i normally do is that i make a mixture like i um i put my shea butter my coconut my grapeseed my olive like i just put everything together and that's what i use normally i scalp my hair like twice a week because again uh, especially some oils are very heavy like shea butter and coconut oil and so i don't like to use them every day because my scalp just gets like super itchy yeah so i use that like twice a week sometimes even once a week <laughs> depending on when i remember <laughs> <laughs> but yeah um that's what i do but if you have a receding hairline you need to give extra attention to it so you need to scalp that just you know just massage it just put and massage it um yeah in some future videos i'm gonna show you how i scalp and how i massage after scalping because that's also very important point number four stop touching stop pulling and stop combing your hair guys uh there are some people who are always you know picking at their hair picking at their hair now what that does that does guys is that um you're causing your hair to break you know if, if you're you, if you know sometimes your hair is coiled and just there like you're breaking your hair guys don't do that and uh stop combing your hair every day especially with uh, with those little tooth combs tooth combs sorry they're breaking your hair because again what they're doing is they're putting pressure you're pulling your hair all the time and you're causing it to break so if you want to comb your hair i advise using a white tooth comb and if you want to detangle your hair i advise using a hairbrush guys start from the 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 ends and go down to the roots and make sure your hair has moisture before you brush it because if it's rough you're just going to be your hair is going to be breaking off those are the same instances where but you've combed your hair then you come and find that your comb is looking your like hair. <laughs> it's looking like uh, the hair was just saying to me i'm leaving your head 
you don't want that yeah you don't want that and um if you can comb your hair once a week comb your hair after you wash it that's what i do like that's when i comb my hair that's when i detangle it and some people detangle before it's up to you so i do that and then i'll get into a hairstyle that i know will last me like a week or two or sometimes i'll braid it point <laughs> number five our last point guys protective styling it's very important to put your hair in a protective style now i know there's some natural hair veterans out there who don't who rarely style their hair and you know that's okay like they 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 have a handle on that they know what they they know how to take care of their hair they, you know some of them have like long hair so akau kachabe puts it in a bun when they wake up and um some of you can afford to do that some of us whose hair hasn't gotten to that point yet it's still a bit short so um it's important to protective style so if you're gonna do those flat twists or just twists or bantu notes or even ordinary cornrows or uh, braids just do it but remember guys don't pull your hair even that saloon that stylist when I know there are some saloonists who are like no we can't touch your hair unless you blow it and then they comb you and then they pull you so that you can't even sleep for the next one week and then you go home and then your head feels like it's you, being pulled away you can't gravity. even bend mm. guys those are the people who are causing your hair to recede True. those people who are doing your cornrows with cotton and pulling when they weave you that's what's causing your hair to recede guys that's just be like me my hair is not growing i'm tired let me cut my hair no 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 no, no, no. <laughs> yeah if you can talk to your saloonist and just be like yo this is not a battle don't pull my hair relax exactly <laughs> breathe exactly <laughs> take it easy exactly <laughs> that would be best but if you can't you can learn how to do your own hair for example me i do that yeah i sometimes i braid myself or you can teach somebody like i have <laughs> yeah i have like my personal person who does my hair like we have a great understanding and everything so um get yourself a personal person True. you know it's important and don't pull that hair um i feel like there's something i wanted to say and it's leaving me so thank you just um a, a short summary point number one moisture um point number two stay away from heat point number three essential oils uh oh yes on essential oils guys learn to read the ingredients on your oils don't sometimes you find uh, a hair food that will say coconut hair food don't think that that hair food has 100 percent coconut oil no 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 no, no, like no, no. Mm -hmm. exactly so you find sometimes these hair foods they have paraffinum they have parabens they have sulfates and petroleum. you want petroleum and you want to avoid that because that stuff dries your hair it's basically like vaseline and then they put uh, chani they sometimes you even find that the ounce of coconut that they'll put in is just going to be as little as this and then you have all these other ingredients that are just going to kill your hair yeah exactly so um more on that in a future video but just a caution avoid that and um point number four stop touching stop pulling and stop combing your hair all the time guys avoid it as much as possible if you can finger detangle i mean that's why your hands are there also we have we have a young sister who who, who is natural you can see this hair if you want your hair to look like you don't know you know about she's still she's still learning how to how to take care of her natural hair but yeah she, she's starting her journey guys but if you want some tips on some styles look out for some future videos because she's gonna be here telling all of you how she gets her hair to look like that true <laughs> and uh the last point was protective styling guys it's protective because it doesn't pull your hair 
it's not a battle and it's there to just you know sometimes you just need to cover up that hair keep it from from the wind from the heat from from the, from the dust you, you know from fun. just the breakage of just pulling and everything so um yeah Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to her channel. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to share. Do not forget to leave a comment because we like to see what you guys have to say about what we talk about. You know, it makes us happy. We are happy people. We hope you are happy. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> I was not in this video for free. <laughs> you just have to follow me at KikiT1724 on Instagram. And make sure you also watch my videos because you're going to be happy. <laughs> Yes, guys, mm -hmm. check out her videos. She's funny. You will <laughs> love it. <laughs> Bye.